family recently received this Hamilton 31 day clock from good friends of ours and now need to be reminded every month how to properly wind it. So we thought it would be best to put together a video for our own benefit to reference what we need to do and also hopefully help others as well. If you have any questions or recommendations for us as we care for this clock, please comment below. First, we'll open the face of the clock. Then, we store the key on the top of the clock, which we will use to wind it back up. Each clock comes with a winding key, and the clock keys are interchangeable among the same clock brands. I'll leave a link in the description below if you need to order a new one for your clock. Next, we'll move the long minute hand on the clock face clockwise to set the current time. The hour hand should travel along with the minute hand. Wait for the clock to strike each hour if you have to move the time up several hours as we did here. Our clock also has a single chime on the half hour, so we'll pause the minute hand there as well. Once we have the approximate time set, we now will place the clock key into the left side winding hole. We'll turn the key clockwise until we meet resistance. We should be able to feel when the clock winds up completely. We want to be careful not to overwind it as this can damage the spring mechanism. Now we'll place the clock key into the right side winding hole. We'll turn the key counterclockwise until we meet resistance again. We always want to make sure to turn the left side first and then the right side. And we never turn the right side clockwise. Once we've met resistance, we'll remove the key and place it back in its holding place. Now we will get the clock started by swinging the pendulum. We typically will inspect the clock weekly to verify that it's keeping time correctly. If the time is too fast or too slow, we are able to adjust how fast the pendulum swings. First, we adjust the clock to the correct time, then we twist the small nut located on the bottom of the pendulum. Twist it to the right to make the clock tick faster. Twist the nut to the left to make it go slower. Usually a very small adjustment is all that is necessary. I did find that there are certain times of the day when you are unable to wind the clock as the hands will be blocking the holes. In this case, you may have to wait a few minutes to let time pass so the holes are accessible. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to support our channel so you can continue to follow us as we put out more videos surrounding life here in our big house in the Little Woods.